And this is my thing, right? Diamond Flight and a lot of them LA niggas, they do every all of this for the check, like solely. You know what I'm saying? No feelings involved. None of that. This shit for the check. Okay? Diamond talking to Ty. It's the check. Uh, a go do a video with McQueen or whatever. It's the check. You know what I'm saying? Ty ain't doing none of that shit. They can't even get along with people to do it. You know? And they don't want to do nothing really for the check like that. You know what I'm saying? To hurt people's feelings and shit. I really, really think that Ty is bothered by this for real. Like, I don't think she's playing. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this is for play play at all. I think she's dead ass serious. You know? Down but like, baby girl, I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I'm just getting my check. You know what I'm saying? She like, run your bag up. Ty, why are you taking this so personal? This boy don't care. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> He don't care. So it's like, why do you care so much for real? Like, are you for real or are you playing? Because you can't be serious. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all couldn't even pay me to even date you. You know what I'm saying? So. Damn. Hey. You got confidence. Don't. Hey, do Eddie. Yeah. yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. I was fucking with this virgin ass bitch. Wait, let me talk my shit. Let me tell you about this bitch. What's up, y'all? Shigeru Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with, well, tonight, I'm back with another reaction video. It's your boy Flight Reacts, how I feel about my ex and Diamond beefing over me. Uh, Chipotle mukbang, who should I choose? He gassing it. He gassing it. And you know what? These girls all in their feelings and shit. You know what I'm saying? For no reason. <laughs> like, pass out that community D. You know what I'm saying? We're going to go ahead and get to the video. Because I got like 20 more videos to go. Let's get it. I just like the way she talking with them college and I live. Have the team hit. Have the team hit. So tell me what I fuck. What I cuff this shit. Have the team hit. Have the team hit. So tell me what I fuck. What I cut, you bitch. Have the team hit, have the team hit. Damn, man, man. Where do I start right now, bro? Like, for real. Did where do I honestly start in this day and age? What do you do, Flight Crew? <laughs> FTC. Flight Team Stand Up! Hey, man. One out of ten. Bullshit. I like your hair. The hairstyle. Man. I do like yes, your hair. Yes, sir. Fishbone braid reacts. Iverson braid reacts. You know what I'm saying? But check me out, man. That's not the real deal spill. What we got going on? The real deal spill is about these ladies. Now, let me go straight on to it. You know what I'm saying? In case and I'm by the way, this is the first time I am having Chipotle, everybody. You know what I'm saying? Literally in two years. I have not had Chipotle. I think the last time I had Chipotle, I think I was, I think I was hitting a million subscribers. I think I literally was around hitting a million subscribers and that was the last time I had Chipotle. It was a Ever long time ago. I, I just out. had Chipotle about, about two weeks ago, facts. I don't know why, it's just, I never had no bad experiences with it or none of that stuff. I just haven't had it. You mean Justice Cameron, you know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure the most sexiest looking YouTuber right now, you know? Is I love his comments. But all jokes aside, man, I know you guys are sleeping on the rock, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of you guys are woke and know what's going on. <coughs> Flight talk like he from 2007. You know, 2000. 2000. He sleeps on a mattress. His apartment is fairly disgusting. And he still got three girls on the internet acting cuckoo. <laughs> I would say it's the money, but these girls ain't broke. So, you tell me. I don't know. 
These women, man, like, it's, it's getting really intense out here, man. It's getting intense for the love of Flight Reacts, you know what I'm saying? Who is going to really have Flight Reacts heart when it's all said and done? <laughs> Let me stop the game, man. But look, bro, basically, man, I kind of wanted to put my uh, two cents and basically what's been going on in the, uh, the Diamond and my ex-girlfriend Ty from the Taylor Girls uh, drama and beef. Then I'm also going to spit on to the side of, uh, you know, helping me nail down my choices. I was about to say, why is he unwrapping it and closing it at the same time? Uh, which beautiful, young, gifted lady I will be um, spending a long term of my time with. Um, and yeah, uh, basically, um, to start off with the diamond situation, I don't know what I should start off with first, bro. So basically, man, I got all the um, from uh, Chipotle. You get the chips, you know what I'm saying? The type of burrito I got, because I know a lot of people are gonna ask, you know, Stay. I can't leave that out there. You gotta show me your receipts too if you caught the same thing. That's called taking a W you meal. Know? I went ahead and got the to go uh, burrito, you know what I'm saying? Obviously, everything's to go. Um, they uh, had the, the black beans, this is the brown rice they have in it, you know what I'm saying? You got the lettuce, you got the cheese, you gotta add the, uh, the uh, what's it called? The uh, queso, the eighth, the queso cheese, you know what I'm saying? Add Meat. the queso cheese inside the burrito. Meat. Then you add half and half chicken and steak. Okay, you know I think what I'm saying? That. This is what I always used to He know how to eat a burrito. Like, hopefully it's nah, still. I like my burrito with um, just the meat and cheese. You know what I'm saying? Probably a little bit of sour cream, some lettuce or something. The rice and beans just fuck it up. It just, it just messes up the whole burrito. It still tastes the same. Maybe and that case so trash. I used to work at Chipotle. So we used to be able to make whatever we want. Boy, y'all try a quesarito? A quesadilla wrapped around a burrito with all that shit in it. Can you imagine? The best shit in the world. I'll go back and work at Chipotle just so I can make my own food facts. Then you gotta get an extra side of queso because... I'm lying. <laughs> you just gotta do it that way, you know what I'm saying? Basically, man, let's go ahead and stop playing I used to and like start off Chipotle. basically what's been going on now. I was a manager. You guys seen by now... Oh, man. I've been missing out. What is wrong with me? Just that queso alone? Okay, Whose queso know. is better, Moe's or Chipotle's? Moe's. Anyway, you guys have basically seen what's been going on in the Diamond and my ex-girlfriend, uh, Top and Taylor girl situation, man. Basically, all I have to say, nothing is my fault. Absolutely zero is my fault. I don't hold no accountability for anything I did, to be 100% honest with you. I feel like um, the only thing I could, you know, change or take back is uh, just being a little bit more cautious with how I welcome in guests that didn't invite themselves. So you guys see the video that I had with uh, Miss Diamond Nicole. Um, that literally, I had, bro, I, how, am, how am I supposed to act in that situation, bro? You know what I'm saying? What do you want me to do? Do you want me to elbow? I'm gonna have to go watch all these other videos. Hit something, hit a girl? I can't do that. I gotta watch it though. So, the best thing that was left for me to do, literally, you know what I'm saying, was to just play it smooth, you know what I'm saying? She ain't coming in here trying to attack me. I mean, she still put her hands near my face, and you know what I'm saying, was, you know, trying to, you know, snap on me. But I put an answer that I put the foot down. And that's what I'm doing in 2019. I put the foot down. Um, you make that look so good. Unexpectedly, she leaned over and grabbed my chin and was kissing me. I wasn't kissing her. She was kissing me. And not even that. Because I have a lot of butthurt people. It's not even just women. It's just like overall. Like I have a lot of butthurt people coming at me and saying, Flight, I don't like the decisions you're making. This and that. Like, bro, do y'all remember or just forgot that I am single? Facts. Facts. He is very much so single, yes. Since when was I in a relationship and owed my loyalty to any girl? Now, you guys know my beautiful ex-girlfriend Top from the Taylor Girls was just over here, you know what I'm saying? We came into a cordial, you know what I'm saying, friendship, and we're slowly rebuilding things. Now, the last time that I checked, you know what I'm saying? That's exactly what she agreed to, too. And even after that, Loki still showed some signs that she was Loki still messing with 
who them dudes' names is again? Oh God. Um, the ones that fake their death. I forgot the um. Oh, Trey and Armand, them dudes. Basically, long story. I don't know why he talks so much shit about them. They ain't bother him at all. Sure. <laughs> when she, as soon as she gets back to Georgia, she finds out that they have girlfriends. And so, like, I look at that, like, because I'm not blind. Like, you know, obviously she gets, you know, or she feels some type of way. So they go ahead and make their Q&A. It was like, cool, I didn't have nothing to say, which I shouldn't, you know. Because it's not like we made everything official, you know what I'm saying, when she was here. We was just in the court with Fred. She was having a great time. So I'm trying to figure out with all this going on, why am I looked at as the bad guy, you know what I'm saying, with what I'm doing, you know. Last time I checked, like I said, I am single. I don't owe nobody my loyalty. But at the same time, that also doesn't mean that I have a lot of potential in, you know, potentially, you know, being with any one of these ladies in the future. Now, to sum up the diamond and my ex-girlfriend talking to Tildros, you know what I'm saying, little situation, I am neutral, you know what I'm saying? I'm not picking and choosing size. You know what I'm saying? Overall, I low key feel like Diamond, in a way, if she could at least invite herself, it would have made it a little bit better. But, you know, I'm single. You know what I'm saying? This is my thing, right? Diamond, Flight, and a lot of them LA niggas, they do every, all of this for the check, like solely. You know what I'm saying? No feelings involved. None of that. This shit for the check. Okay? Diamond talking to Ty. It's the check. Uh, a go do a video with McQueen or whatever. It's the check. You know what I'm saying? Ty ain't doing none of that shit. They can't even get along with people to do it. You know? And they don't want to do nothing really for the check like that. You know what I'm saying? To hurt people's feelings and shit. I really, really think that Ty is bothered by this for real. Like, I don't think she's playing. You know what I'm saying? I don't think this is for play play at all. I think she's dead ass serious. You know? Down be like, baby girl, I ain't got time for that. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. I'm just getting my check. You know what I'm saying? She like, run your bag up. Ty, why are you taking this so personal? This boy don't care. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> He don't care. So it's like, why do you care so much for real? Like, are you for real? Or are you playing? Because you can't be serious. You know what I'm saying? And now, if uh -huh. I would have gave my uh, ex top and the Taylor girls a promise ring and made it official and got down on one knee, they would take a bite of sexy ass breeder right like, there. I swear, on. just bite that mother. All that lettuce. Mm. It do look good, mm. though. What was wrong? I was missing out. Mm. Just don't eat it all the time. You'll get over it. Yeah, good. Yeah. Flight, if you watch this next time, go ask for a quesarito. Oh, y'all spam flight and say royalty. Say go get a quesarito. He get a quesarito. He gonna be in love. I might just message him on IG. But he need a quesarito facts. Uh, anyway, <laughs> to sum up that situation, man, I would like to see them, you know what I'm saying, come to a peace and hopefully it's dead and everybody forgets about it. Because at the end of the day, you guys know I'm a faithful black man and black men do not cheat. For you guys that are butthurt for the decisions I'm making, for some of you, I'm not saying all of you, you know what I'm saying, you can't be upset that I am able to pull women. I'm literally one of the top five sexiest social media, you know what I'm saying, you know, niggas in this generation of 2019. Today, confidence and money holds weight, right? So I honestly think that you could be like the, the most non-attractive person, you know what I'm saying? Um, you got to have a check these days. Ain't too many girls messing with broke niggas. Not, not, not too many. Um... But nothing else has to be together. Confidence and some money will get you a long way. The rest of the shit don't matter. They'll deal with it. You got roaches? I'll deal with the roaches. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You don't take showers, just take a shower when we do it. You know what I'm saying? You got 27 girls? Boom. 
I'll be 28 for the night. I will be the 28th girl for the night. You know what I'm saying? Just lost all the morals that, you know, I think another person is supposed to have. You know what I'm saying? But. You should not be mad. Like, nine times out of ten, when I say a lot of girls, if you see me in person, you literally will faint. You literally will start sweating. You, will, you wouldn't even be able to talk right. That's it's happened right. before. Oh my gosh. You look 20 times better in person. He is a nice looking guy. I did all of that. You know what he I'm saying? Is. A lot of y'all couldn't even pay me to even date you. You know what I'm saying? So. Damn. Hey. You got confidence. Don't come at me and try to say that I'm an F boy. I'm nasty. And then some people try to say I'm a walking STD. I'm a thigh. I'm a good guy. Now, to the next topic that's interesting one. Um, and he don't care. That burrito. With all the things I see that's been going on, it's going to come to a point whether I, I like it or not. And I know for a fact because, you know, I just know how life works. I'm going to eventually have to choose one. I'm not going to be able to realistically, as much as I would love to and have a dream, I really honestly, to be 1,000 show in, I really want to have three wives. I wish it was so much possible to have three girlfriends without any drama. I was about to say, I don't know about without the drama, but it's a lot of, um, what is it, poly relationships? Is that what it's called? I don't know, child, but there's people in relationships of threes. These twin sisters are having a baby apiece by this man. <clears throat> You don't believe me? Go look at Shade Room. Times have changed, Fly. I feel like, I think, we all think, all three of them girls would date him. Now, without the drama, I don't know about that. But I think they would date him on the low. Hell. Everybody has done it. <laughs> but, I can still make that happen, but with all change comes time. It's gonna take time. But you know, in the meantime, I know eventually within these next couple of months, I'm gonna really have to choose which girl is gonna be right for me. Light don't need no girlfriend. And you guys don't know. The girl who had got my name tatted, um, Miss Janet, we're just friends, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to like a relationship or future things of stuff like that, that contract is waived and you know what I'm saying expired. But she got her name tatted on him and that boy said her contract is waived and expired. <laughs> Child to my dog Jenny, you know what I'm saying? That's my dog. That'll forever dog. be my baby, you know what I'm saying? But for these three contestants, you know what I'm saying? He called y'all contestants. Beautiful top and the Taylor girls, you know what I'm saying? Beautiful Diamond Nicole or beautiful Desiree Mitchell. I kind of, in a way, you know what I'm saying, went over something like this maybe two or three months ago, but I didn't go too much in depth, and now it's getting a little bit intense where I'm going to have to choose. I can't tell you. Later on, this whole chip in his mouth. I actually will be going to Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'll, I'm not supposed to be telling you guys this, but. My ex top for the is gonna be flying me out to Atlanta this, you know, later this month. And, you know, I have to actually get some things right with their family in person because everything can be cool and dandy on the phone, but I feel like as a man, it's better to apologize in person. You know, not even just that. It's just been a minute since I cooled it with her, you know what I'm saying, the ATL. So she's gonna be flying me later this month. So we're gonna basically have more time to spend with each other, you know what I'm saying, later this month. So now What's ringing in the back of my head, I can see why, you know what I'm saying, certain things are going the way they're supposed to because it's kind of like, okay, if like, like, and especially for Ty's fans, like, they're looking at it like, okay, like, we want to see y'all back together, you know what I'm saying, you're sitting up here messing with girls, what's going on, like, you gotta take things slow, like, you can't force things on people, you gotta Fact. remember that, everybody. Fact. Now, who is honestly the best out of all three to choose from, bro? It is honestly the hardest point in my life. Like I never thought I would ever get to a point. Bro, I remember when it was I used to be scared to talk to girls, bro. 
I even literally used to write notes, bro. I used to like girls, like Facebook, to be honest, status, to hope that they write me a to be honest message back and to give me some hints that I should be talking to them, bro. Like, I used to have no game. And now I've gotten to this point, man. I can say, you know what I'm saying, that I deserve it because it's just like I'm a really sexy, good looking nigga, you know what I'm saying, and I got a great head on my shoulders. But, you know. <laughs> a couple of dollars and some confidence changing mind. Yeah, not, well, not change their mind, but change his mind on himself, you know, his perception of him. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, I'm a gentleman and I don't want to leave any of these women's hearts broken and none of that, man, you know. So it's like you have top Taylor girls. You are you guys already know what, what her background is. You know what I'm saying? A really talented, beautiful, young, you know what I'm saying, energetic Georgia. Just just ugh, you already know how that goes. And then you have, you know, Diamond, you know, she came from uh, Michigan, you know what I'm saying, just beautiful, slim, you know what I'm saying? Um just you know, you guys already know the headache she gives me at time to time. You know, you haven't chosen between her. Or do you have Desiree, you know, a girl that was born, you know what I'm saying, 30, 40 minutes from where, you know what I'm saying, my hometown is. <clears throat> the burrito looks delicious. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> like has a huge this mouth. It's hitting, bro. It looks like, like it. I ain't gonna hold you. No one saw that. But. That shit looks delicious. All. Which girl is right for me, bro? Because there's things that I look at, the small things. The only girl that calls me by my real name is Top and the Taylor girls, you know what I'm saying? And they always say that whoever can call you by your real name, you know, that's usually the one. But there's other things that those other two girls, they also do, you know what I'm saying? That's really like, you know, like, Turn on ish or wifey material type Turn man. On -ish. So it's like a huge dilemma that I'm honestly in. So, in all, bro, I'm honestly asking you guys, man, to please help me choose between, you know what I'm saying, the three Top and Taylor girls, Desiree, or Diamond. Don't choose. They all crazy enough to fuck with you the way you are. So if you date one of them, I would say you might mess up, but hell, Flight has already played all of these women and they still go back to them. So <laughs> at this point, the only person who I think really cares is Ty. So out of everybody, you would be hurting her feelings for real. But I do think Desiree would potentially give you a chance, but I think that Desiree will end up going crazy over this nigga. Like if, if Desiree became serious with him and like, it clicked in she'll lose it <clears throat> janet i think she just neutral she just really she ain't riding no wave anyway she just chilling she down for whatever because i know he's still getting some ass you know what i'm saying from her and diamond just all about to check i would just keep diamond around for that reason let's just make some money together you know what i'm saying so don't you they have fun they letting you you know what I'm saying? I, I need you guys to describe, you know what I'm saying, who is right for me and why. And it's not even just because if you're a fan of whoever, you can't do that. That's not fair. You know, even if you're not a fan of somebody, you hate somebody, you got to see somebody you want to be happy, you know? So I need everybody to get at me on any social or get down below in the comments, man. What girl out of those three is right for me and why are they right for me? You know what I'm saying? And I'm talking about in the long run. I'm talking about because if I'm in a relationship, let's say within a couple of months from now, man. I'm trying to be in that bit for at least five to ten years, you know, and on long term. I'm not a guy, bro. When I, next time I fall in love, bro, and the girl breaks my heart, it's not going to be pretty, bro. Like, that's the type of stuff I'm on because I'm done. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm too good looking to be, you know what I'm saying, out here, like, trying to figure out, look, man, like, um, am I supposed to uh, be cuffing this girl or this? Or maybe am I sitting up here overthinking and maybe I should stay how I'm supposed to stay, you know what I'm saying, single. And continue to, you know what I'm saying, have multiple women, you know what I'm saying, in and out. But obviously treat them with respect like what I've been doing this whole time. And maybe sometimes deal with the drama here and there that comes with it. Or just pick a girl. Like, man, let me know, everybody. But I'm about to, you know what I'm saying, make love to the rest of this burrito. Thanks. Hope you guys enjoyed this Chipotle mukbang, bro. Um, like I said, man, hope, hopefully Diamond um, and my ex can come to a peace agreement, bro. Um... 
I'm neutral within the situation, I'm not picking sides, you know what I'm saying? Especially that my ex had just came back, you know what I'm saying? I was not in no position. Bro, he ain't on neither one of y'all side. So, Ty, get out your feelings. Because it ain't diamond. And y'all was saying to me, which I can go back and watch the video and shit. I'm going to go back and watch the video before I say something. So, just stay tuned. Try and disrespect her in no position to try and, you know what I'm saying, cause any harm. You know, sometimes the territory with being a good looking ass nigga, you know, you, you, you have situations Flight. where just women in general, you know, you just deal with. Flight. So, hey man, just let me know what I'm supposed to be doing, bro. Because I want to make sure I'm doing things the right way. It do look good. I ain't gonna hold it. Flight ass crazy. I don't know, y'all. What y'all think? I wouldn't fool with him because of his room and his apartment. I don't give a damn about that money. It's a whole lot of young niggas with money these days. And a lot of them don't have no damn sense anyway. But it's a lot of young ladies with some money too. You know what I'm saying? Who don't even need these niggas. So I don't know. Y'all let me know. Put it down in the comment section below. And uh, we about to be on to the next video, bruh. Peace out. Are you looking to get your shirt printed by Nick G the host? And not only get your shirt printed, get the fattest, the best, the baddest logo in the world. And that's royalty apparel. And you can get it from me. Yes, me. I do everything. I print out the logo. I cut the logo. I pick the logo. I also make sure it's measured right so it won't be crooked on your shirt. Then I press it down. Okay, one, two, three. Pop open. Then you got the best logo out in the world, okay? And I gotta make sure that it's on correctly. Not only that, I gotta ship it. So I make sure it's on there, heat and press right. Then I make sure it's folded right. Package it right. Okay, okay. Then you got to close it so it can get to you on time. You know what I'm saying? Then I put my P.O. box on a paper and I send it to your door. Let me know if you want your shirt printed. Go visit royaltiesworld.bigcartel.com and go get your shirt today. Peace out.